Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll explore the Ref Greasy Hero class in the China Beta Test Server. We'll test out Ref Greasy's performance in PvE instances to determine if this new Hero class can effectively serve as solo DPS. While the release date for the C, Global, and E servers has not been officially announced, it is likely to be included in next month's patch update. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. To unlock the new Ref Greasy Hero class, you need to reach the Tier 3 Royal Guard Adventure class and use a Job Change Voucher in the Hero class interface. This voucher can be obtained for free after finishing the Lost Isle or Museum Island Brave instance and completing the Handbook achievement. Before we begin, I'm thrilled to share with you guys this brand new limited animated series called Raid Call of the Arbiter. The show explores the epic journey of champions and a glimpse into the wider world of Raid Shadow Legends. At first, I was a bit skeptical when Raid reached out to me about an animated show, but after watching the first few episodes, I was blown away by how the characters from the game have been brought to life. Not to be a spoiler, but I got hooked with Elhane's story in the latest episode. She's a formidable elven warrior who faces a heart-wrenching dilemma as she finds herself torn between choosing love or her duty. It's truly an emotional roller coaster. Each six-minute episode are jam-packed with action, excitement, and masterful storytelling that keeps getting better and better. You can watch this incredible series for free within the game with new episodes out every Thursday at 10 a.m. EST until July 20. There's already over 7 million views for the first four episodes which have critics and players raving about the show. And once you start watching, you'll understand why. To celebrate the arrival of this limited series, Raid is organizing exciting events that both old and new fans of Raid can take part in. They're even giving out a new legendary champion for free. By simply logging into Raid for 7 days until July 24, players can get Artak, one of the new characters from the show's first episode. If you haven't begun your Raid adventure, please check out my exclusive link in the description box below or scan the QR code in the top corner to receive a free starter pack filled with fantastic loots. In terms of development, Raf Freezy follows the design of a hero class where a core passive skill can be upgraded by activating the second line of her runes. Upgrading her non-core skills requires job points, which can be acquired from leveling up her job EXP. Once she reaches job level 82, all her non-core skills can be upgraded to max level. Her core passive skill, called Four Wing Guardian, grants her a Holy Snow Feather every time she covers a distance of 20 meters. Thus, she needs to constantly move around in order to accumulate Holy Snow Feathers and maintain a maximum of 4 stacks. Whenever she casts a skill that consumes a Holy Snow Feather, she gains additional movement speed and physical damage bonus, and even becomes immune to both physical and magic damage for 2 seconds. As for Rafrisi's damaging skills, they all incorporate physical and magic attack in the damage formula and are considered melee physical skill damage with convertible element. Her primary damaging skill, Feather Blade of Order, generates a golden circle in front of her that shoots feathers, dealing physical damage to all enemies within a 3 by 8 meter area every 0.5 seconds for a duration of 4 seconds. This skill has very short cooldown, allowing Raf Greasy to spam it frequently. It's somewhat similar to Genesis Rechargeable Incendiary Gun, except that Red Greasy can just leave the circle on the ground and move freely after using the skill. Raf Greasy's next damaging skill is Holy Feather Judgment, which makes her soar into the air and after 1 second, charge towards a designated location, inflating damage to all enemies within a 4 meter radius. Additionally, affected enemies will be knocked back and disarmed for one second. The final damaging skill is Call of Heroes, which consumes all of her holy snow feathers to summon an equal amount of angels that will attack enemies every 3 seconds for a duration of 15 seconds. I'll give a detailed analysis of all her skills in another video, so stay tuned for that. In this showcase, I'll be using a standard physical skill built with some magic attack gears. I have prepared the following gears and cards in my main equipment bar for this demonstration. I am using Raf Greasy's exclusive weapon, Zealous Judgment, as its effects are specifically designed for her. This weapon provides up to 20% extra movement speed while attacking, which is crucial for maximizing her damage output with the Aurora Holy Feather Star Rune. Additionally, its tier 5 effect is a significant quality of life improvement because it allows her to easily regain a holy snow feather even when not moving. 
Now here are my Phantom Gears, Oracle Mirror Extract, and Ancient Relic. As for my stat distribution, I have allocated points on Strength and Int to boost both Attack and Magic Attack, Vit to increase her max HP, and Dex to leverage the benefits of Zenubia card. Without any buffs, this build provides me with the following stats. I'll be discussing how to build Wrath Freezy in another video so stay tuned for that. Now let's put Wrath Freezy to test. First, I'll try if she can clear Oracle Elite 12. The MVPs this week are Archangeling, Lord of House of Cards, and Bloody Murderer. Wrath Freezy can rapidly clear the normal monster waves with her powerful AoE skill. She can also handle the MVPs quite easily with her continuous damage output. Next, I'll attempt to clear Lost Isle Legend difficulty. For the buff rotation, I usually start by activating Holy Wing Armor, which is kind of like a built-in HP relic for Ref Freezy so she doesn't get insta-killed by burst damage. Then I cast Valkyrie for increasing damage and sustain. Command of Charge for enhancing the party's mobility, and Holy Strike to convert my damage to Holy Element and gain additional attack and magic attack percentage. Once all buffs are active, I cast Call of Heroes to consume all my Holy Snow Feather, and then from there I just spam Feather Blade of Order until the boss is defeated. Whenever I have two Holy Snow Feathers, I consume one feather to mark the boss with Fire of Arrogance. This will inflict additional burn damage while attacking and also lower the target's damage reduction. Now let's try Ponape Museum Island Legend difficulty. Similar to Lost Isle, she can defeat any legendary boss without breaking a sweat. Lastly, let's do the ultimate test and see if she can solo clear the new Ponape Secret Realm instance.
And there you have it, I was able to clear all the Komodo Legend instances in just one attempt. Based on these tests we've done, I can confidently say that she is 100% OP. So if you have already built a physical skill damage class but still struggle with soloing instances, then I highly recommend unlocking Raph Greasy. In addition to inflicting massive amounts of continuous skill damage, she also has an innate anti-fatal ability which is crucial for survival in the current late game instances. Let's hope they won't nerf her skills before getting released, fingers crossed. How about you guys, do you think Raph Freezy is overpowered? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.